Hello everybody. So Spirit has a message for somebody out there. You've been asking for some guidance, so Spirit wants to answer. If this is your answer and your reading, it will resonate and fit 100%. So let's get into this and see what Spirit has to say. And then you'll know if this is for you or not. So Spirit, what is the situation surrounding this person? What do you want them to know? All right, so we have the uh, seven of spades at the center, okay, in the present, and this is about sadness and loss, okay? There we have the four of diamonds, the six of clubs, the three of spades, seven of diamonds, King of Diamonds, Black Widow, Queen of uh, Spades, Eight of Hearts, and Ten of Hearts. All right, so you, in this moment, there is a loss that you're feeling, okay? This right here represents a drop of blood. And in this deck, the seven of spades is all about loss, sadness, and pain. So you have recently, um, this could be like a loss of a relationship or like a loss of a job. Those are the two strongest things that are coming in um, just with what's out, okay? So around a relationship or a job, and it's a loss for you right now, and you're hurting, and you're sad. But this is like, you've got to be patient and wait, because there's more to this journey, okay? And then with the uh, three of spades, this is like feeling like things are against you. It's just bad luck, okay? So despite our efforts, Despite the journey, we still ended up at a loss. Despite the time, energy, and effort we put into a relationship, we put into a job. Now, we're at a loss. It didn't work out. It didn't pan out. There's a lot of sadness and pain. You feel lied to. You feel deceived by this king of pentacles, which typically represents a very strong male energy but you know as this is a general this could be a female or a male because we also have a very negative female energy coming through with the queen of spades as the black widow okay so this either represents you and um, you feeling totally betrayed or this could represent you as the black widow you know the feelings of loss all right so either one so if this was um, around a job, this could be a boss or coworker that you feel totally stabbed in the back by. If this is a relationship, friendship, family ship, romantic partnership, you feel very stabbed in the back, very betrayed by this person. Okay. And also, um, you're looking at, if this is like a direct person, you're looking at them at present feeling like everything's okay for them, all is well for them, there's no um, fallout for them, and that hurts you even more. But that's not the case, okay? Things have a way of shifting and changing. And there's a deep acknowledgement here that yes, you were lied to, you were deceived, you were betrayed. Spirit is acknowledging that for you. But there is better times ahead. There is better times to come for you, okay? This is um, contentment, um, a gathering, a coming together. And so if this was like around a personal relationship that left you feeling this way, there's other energies that are coming in around you that are really going to soothe you and help you heal, okay? And these could even be new connections. If this was like a betrayal through a job where you 
got fired, you lost your job, something along those lines, just really getting screwed over. This is a new job coming for you. All right, so let's pull some tarot and go a little deeper. Right, Queen of Cups, yeah, you're really hurting. Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, feeling very stuck in the sadness. Wheel of Fortune, it's time for things to turn. Yeah, even though whoever hurt you, screwed you over, it looks like they're doing okay, that wheel is about to turn on them and then into your favor. And now we have the Hermit, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Sun. Absolutely. I love the way that this reading ends. Okay. You've done your best to put the pieces back together. It's been a long emotional journey for you. And, you know, whether this was a job or a relationship, you definitely did the work you put in the time the energy the emotion like everything that you could do and um the way you got betrayed in the end it really it cut you deep so much so that you almost feel like you could be cursed with bad luck and, and you feel very stuck in that energy okay but the will of fortune this is the present so this is the past this is the present okay the Wheel of Fortune is now beginning to turn. Things are going to shift. Things are going to change. Okay? And you will receive some growth and emotional expansion from this experience. Okay? And with this Hermit um, coming through right there, this could even be where somebody just outright ghosted you, cut you off, left you empty-handed, left you with absolutely no explanation whatsoever. And... You just feel very stuck in this energy of the Black Widow. Like, I can't move on from that. And we see that there. And it's like it kind of, you know, mirrors each other. It's like I, you feel so stuck in that. But Spirit wants you to know the Wheel of Fortune is turning. And things are changing. And this right here, the Eight of Hearts with the Nine of Pentacles. This is a wonderful new job. I mean... For those of you where this is around job issues, yes, there is a wonderful new job that you are going to come into and you're going to feel abundant and you're going to feel appreciated. And some of you that are single, you might even meet um, a new romantic partner, okay? Because this right here is uh, talking about like union and flirtation um, and sometimes affairs. So this could even be where, you know, you were in a romantic partnership and you got cheated on and left behind and you've really been struggling to heal and overcome that. And you are, okay? You are going to come into a new union with somebody here that is filled with so much more than what you had. And through this ten of hearts and the sun, this is happiness. This is contentment. This is healing. So, um, you know, there's a new person coming in for some of you. And this could be a new friend, new romance. For others of you, this is a new job. And those of you where this is a new job, you really feel like these new coworkers are family. Or over time, you grow into that feeling like they're family. Okay? The hardest part is now over. And the Wheel of Fortune is beginning to turn and shift into your favor. So now you're rising back on top of the wheel. And whoever caused this, they're going to go to the bottom. Okay? Somebody's getting karma. I should say this, you both are getting karma, you're getting positive karma, and they're about to reap what they've sown by what they've done to you. Okay, so let's um let's pull some more cards. Spirit of place with compass. You're getting your bearings back. 
okay? And Spirit is really encouraging you, as painful as it feels right now, to really become present. Don't keep looking at the past and what's been lost, all right? Get present, ground your energies into the now. Call upon the archangels to really surround you and help you through this healing process. Connect your energy to Mother Earth Gaia so that your energy is really rooted and grounded and you're gonna feel stronger and more solid and um, see things much, much more clearly, okay? Because in this energy becoming present and really grounding yourself with Mother Earth Gaia, you tap into your inner compass and so much is going to make sense and you're gonna understand and if you've been looking back, wishing to have back what has been lost here, by the end of this process, you don't want it back anymore. You are so happy and content with what is now happening, the way that your life has shifted and changed. You don't want this back. And you have pity for the person as you see karma take care of them. They're going to reap what they've sown. Absolutely. Okay. And in this, I don't feel like that this was bad karma, like you reaped what you sowed through this person's actions. I feel like this is more of a soul contract where you decided, well, I shouldn't say decided, you agreed to teach this deep lesson to this person, okay? And through you teaching that lesson, you are going to receive a lot of um, growth and expansion to the emotional body, but also there are blessings coming in for you, okay? So you taught a deep lesson. You also received a deep lesson. You guys have a soul contract around this, whether this was through a job or through a personal relationship. soul searching it's time to go within and uncover your true feelings so that you can move through them and understand them transmute them and release them victim mentality you are learning to understand that everything happens through you not to you wow see um, a lot of deep soul lessons are being received by you through this experience supernova an aspect of your personality, ego self, must die to make way for a new shiny star to be born. So this experience is actually a huge blessing in disguise for you. It is going to activate you and transform you in such a way that you're going to be able to align to some energy that you wouldn't have been able to otherwise. All right. And so spirit wants you to know that like. Stop looking at the past. Try to get out of um, feeling um, all the things, you know, when we're betrayed, when we're lied to, when we're deceived. Absolutely, we feel like a victim in that moment, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. You've got to accept your personal truth. But Spirit's saying don't linger in this. You can overcome this. And this whole experience is going to give you something that allows you to transform in such a way that you're finally able to align and touch energy that was always beyond your reach, out of your grasp previously. And what was done to you is going to be done to this person or this crappy boss or this coworker times three, okay? Times three. They're going to get it back. But remember, you guys have a soul contract here and what happens through that soul contract is truly at the end of the day for the highest good of both of you and our greatest changes come through the most painful challenges that we experience and face so they handed you all this pain and darkness and you're about to transmute that back into the light back into the sun and as you do that, they receive back that box of darkness that they gave to you. And now it's their burden to carry. And they've got to work through that energy and transform and transmute it to overcome and become this energy themselves as well. Okay, so 
deep acknowledgement that yes, you were lied to. Yes, you were betrayed. Yes, it hurts. It's not fair. But find comfort in the fact that there's something much, much bigger and deeper to be gained as you move through this experience. And now you're coming, like the Wheel of Fortune is turning and things are going to end up better for you in the long run than they were before, which is going to make you see all of this as a blessing in disguise. Get very, very present. Connect with Mother Earth Gaia. And that's going to help um, this healing process speed up a bit. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.